It reiterates the Council's demand that all parties comply with their obligations under international law, including international humanitarian law, notably with regard to the protection of civilians. It demands the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. And it requests the Secretary General to report to the Council on an urgent and continual basis on the resolution's implementation. It is brief, it is simple, it is crucial. En contra. Abstenciones. El resultado de la votación es el siguiente. 13 votos a favor, un voto en contra, una abstención. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, the United States engaged in good faith on this text. We propose language with an eye toward a constructive resolution that would have reinforced the life-saving diplomacy we have undertaken since October 7, increased opportunities for humanitarian aid to enter Gaza, encouraged the release of hostages <clears throat> and the resumption of humanitarian pauses, and laid a foundation for a durable peace. Unfortunately, nearly all of our recommendations were ignored, and the result of this rush process was an imbalanced resolution that was divorced from reality, that would not move the needle forward on the ground in any concrete way. And so, we regretfully could not support it. This text also failed to acknowledge that Israel has the right to defend itself against terrorism consistent with international law. This is a right to which all states are entitled. As I stated earlier today, no country could or should tolerate what Hamas did on October 7. Thank you, President. We call for further and longer pauses to get aid to Palestinians and allow space for further hostage releases. But we cannot vote in favour of a resolution which does not condemn the atrocities Hamas committed against innocent Israeli civilians on the 7th of October. Calling for a ceasefire ignores the fact that Hamas has committed acts of terror and is still holding civilians hostage. Israel needs to be able to address the threat posed by Hamas and it needs to do so in a manner that abides by international humanitarian law so that such attack can never be carried out again.